NATO allies are providing unprecedented support to Ukraine to help uphold its right of self-defense. And from the start, we have been working very closely with the European Union, determined to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. We will meet uh, later on today in the US-led uh, contact group uh, for uh, Ukraine and address the urgent needs uh, for uh, increased support to Ukraine. Not least the need to provide uh, more ammunition and uh, also how to ramp up uh, production uh, and strengthen our defense industry to be able to uh, provide uh, the necessary uh, ammunition uh, to Ukraine and also to replenish our own uh, stocks. He is preparing for more war, for new offensives and uh, new attacks. So it makes it just even more important that uh, NATO allies and partners um, uh, provide more support uh, to Ukraine. Thank you very much for joining us. Ukraine has been at this for a year, and so they have used a lot of artillery uh, ammunition. Uh, we're going to do everything we can working with our international partners to ensure that uh, we give them as much uh, ammunition as quickly as, as possible. And Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley. Back to see them. Uh, in terms of whether or not Russia is uh, massing its aircraft for some uh, massive uh, aerial attack. We don't currently see that. We do know that Russia has uh, a substantial uh, number of aircraft in its inventory and a lot of capability left. That's why we've emphasized that you know we need to do everything that we can uh, to get Ukraine as much air defense capability as we possibly can.